How's it going guys? So yesterday I put out a clip talking about how to prep for step one in 2023. And then of course I knew it was going to happen. I by all means could have made this video uh, yesterday, but OMG, some students asked, well, how are you going to prep for step two in 2023? Okay. And I can give you some updated viewpoints because by all means here on my YouTube, I've made tons of clips talking about this. All right. So updated points, okay? Updated uh, high yield information, and I'll keep this consolidated, not going to be a 26 minute clip, okay? How to effectively prep for 2CK in 2023 without all the nonsense. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, MEHL, man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to Telegram group and channel down below. Let's start the clip. So 2023, how to prep for 2CK, and this is how it's going to go, all right? You got two student cases, essentially, okay? Student will come to me who's already a post-grad, says, yep, I can just study straight for the exam, no problem, just, yep, give me X number of months, what, what should I do? And then you have the student case where he or she is on rotations, okay? Very standard, and uh, how do you prep for TCK while you're on rotations? Now, I'll discuss both real quick. As I said, I'm gonna keep this consolidated. It's easier when you're post-grad in terms of the, the linearity. So I'm gonna quickly discuss that first. This is what we're gonna do. When you're prepping for 2CK, there's a tetrad, same as for step one, all right? So number one, QBank, and this is for both cases. Number one, QBank, AMBOSS, and UWorld non-superior to each other at this point. I'll make a future clip talking about that, but I used to talk about in my prior videos that you were unequivocally superior to Amboss. I no longer think that anymore, okay? I think both can augment your score the same, all right? So non-superior to each other. So Tetrad number one, you're gonna be going through all of uh, UWorld or Amboss. I want you to do the whole thing. Number two, I want you doing my free high yield PDFs, which are on my website. I'll throw the link below in a pinned comment. Number three, you're going to be doing my YouTube MCQs. I've talked about them colloquially as just audio QBank because the first 200 were, holy shit, originally on my website is just audio. And then number four, all the NBME and CMS content, Clinical Mastery Series, which refers to the NBME subject-specific content. So that's for both uh, cases here. But when we talk about this first case of you being a post-grad where you can just study linearly, what you're going to do is all of you world or AMBOSS and... I will choose depending on what I feel is most appropriate for a student, but it's not a crisis, all right? So you can do either. So I'll have a student do the entirety of UWorld or AMBOSS. Yes, you're gonna do the whole thing because your score on matter, your score matters hugely on 2CK, probably 95% of the uh, competitiveness of your application. So there's never a case where I'll have a student shortchange the QBank unless it's literally a scenario where they say, no, I have to sit by X date, that's it. And then I say, okay, well, that time is going to come out of your QBank. We'll curtail it, but not ideal. So you're going to do the entirety of AMBOSS or UWorld. Then when you're done, you're going to do all of the clinical mastery series forms, the NBME subject specific forms. The number keeps changing. There's around 50, okay? And it can be difficult to find the offline ones. So generally, students will do on the range of 45-ish to around 50-ish forms. Not a crisis you should be doing at least 40 of the forms, all right? So there are 50 questions each. So you're talking at least 2,000, 2,500-ish questions just from the Clinical Master Series. That's essentially NBME QBank, quote unquote, all right? So or at least half a QBank. A decade ago when I set the exams, UWorld was 2,150 questions. Now it's over 4,000. So we can call it half a QBank, but so you're going to do all of the uh, AMBOSS or UWorld, then you're going to do all the CMS forms, it's going to be 2,000 to 2,500 questions. Then when you're done with all the CMS forms, I like you doing two per day, all right? And you're really not going to be able to do more than that. But even if you can, I want you to spend extra time going through my PDFs, okay? I don't want you doing three CMS forms per day, uh, ideally. So after you finish all the CMS forms, then you're going to do NBMEs six through eight offline. Then you're going to do another pass of all the CMS forms. Holy shit. 
okay? Now, some students don't like to do the second pass because they want to get the exam over with. I don't know what to tell you. You're asking for my advice because it's fucking excellent advice. I know what I'm doing, and I know how to get your score as high as possible. So, all of AMBOSS or UWorld, all the CMS forms, and give me six through eight offline, then Holy shit, a second pass of all the CMS forms. Then you're going to do free 120. Then you're going to do NVMEs 9 through 13. Okay? Literally, like a few days ago. It's May 20th, 2023 at the time of this clip. Literally a few days ago, uh, NVME 13 came out. Okay? So you're going to do 9 through 13. That's how it's going to be for most students. Yes, there are nuances, calibrations, things I take into consideration when I develop a plan. But... For umbrella statements, broad umbrella statements for most of you watching this clip who are postgrad, that's the linear sequence I like. For those of you on rotations, it's a bit more annoying because some of you might have to be at hospital 12 hours a day for a rotation. Others, you you know, they might let you go home early and you can study. So there's going to be dif uh, significant differences in terms of how much you can get done. But for each rotation, you're going through subject specific, clearly. You're on your surgery, you're on your IM, PEDS, etc. For each rotation to ace the shelves, you're going to be doing all of the UWorld or AMBOSS questions for that subject. So let's say you're on surgery, you're going to do all of those questions from QBank first. Then I want you doing two passes of the CMS forms for that respective subject. So there's a different number of forms per uh area, okay, per rotation. So surgery happens to have eight forms, including the offline ones. So you're going to do all eight forms twice. So depending on how much time you have, maybe if you're at hospital all day, literally no time, I say, well, you're going to get one form per, you're going to get one form per day done. So that'll be, I want you to carve out 16 days to get all those forms done. So essentially, student might have a rotation for eight weeks, for 12 weeks, and I'll have a, we'll do a calculation where I say, well, we're going to have 16 days where we're going to have those CMS forms that we're doing twice, and then it's going to take you this long to get through all the QBank questions, and then we have a gap in the middle, and we say, well, we can use that extra time for, let's say, now that we finish the Euro questions, we want to go into the AMBOSS questions. So extra time can be filled in with more QBank questions, all right? But the CMS forms should be done twice for each rotation. And of course, you're going to do my PDFs, my YouTube MCQs. You can do playlists, surgery playlist on my YouTube here, okay? Or PEDS playlist, OBGYN playlist. So that's how you're going to knock out each rotation. You're going to get high honors or high pass or honors on your shelves by doing those four things, okay? QBank, the CMS content, uh, the PDF, my free PDFs, and uh, the YouTube playlist, the MCQs. So... In short consolidation here, all right, because you can use a lot of extraneous resources that are a waste of fucking time. What you're going to do is the Tetrad, QBank, UWorld, and MBOS non-superior to each other. You're going to do the CMS forms, ideally twice before your 2CK. Whether you're post-grad, okay, or whether you're on rotations, I want you doing all the CMS forms twice. You're going to be doing offline NBME 6 through 8. And you're ultimately going to be going on to do free 120 and 9 through 13. I've made clips talking about how to go through the NBME exams. Okay, I, I like students making Anki cards from the incorrects, doing stacked review. I want you memorizing the questions. All right, but that's how we get a max score on 2CK in a short consolidated clip here. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.